Boba Galchenko is considered to be one of the greatest club jugglers of all time. He has competed in and won many juggling competitions in the World Juggling Federation, and still to this day even holds many juggling world records that nobody can beat. Now, it's very likely that you've seen this guy in a YouTube video called Batboy Slim, which has over a million views and inspired so many non-jugglers to learn how to juggle. In this video, you can see him juggling inside and on top of a mega million dollar mansion. So I'm just gonna go pull up to my mansion and I'll be right here. Uh, just kidding, it's definitely just a dumpster. Now, if you're like me, you're wondering, how did such a normal guy become such an exceptional juggler? Well. For the next seven days, I'm going to be training just like him, and I'm going to find out. Let's do it. It is day number one of the seven-day journey that I just started. Too late to turn back around, I guess. <laughs> Not really, because I live five minutes from the gym. Anyways, this is Vova Gal Sorry, this is Vova Gauchenko now, and let's hear from him how consistent he is. I mean, I found that when I practiced every day, even if it's you know, not maybe, not a long time, even if it's, if it's just like a half an hour, an hour, it helps to do that versus let's say not practicing all week and then doing like once a week, doing like four hours. Now, I may not be juggling seven clubs like he just was, but uh, check me out, I'm doing body throws, which is the hardest three club trick there is. On day number two, I start my practice just like Boba does. Start just by doing like a normal thing like that. And then I'll do like kind of lofty, slow singles. And then I'll do some like lofty triples. Now what I'm gonna do is a 360 connected into body throws. Well, it's a lot harder than it sounds. Today, I got a long run of five club singles, which is where I throw the club up and it rotates once instead of twice. Day number three started like every other, where I practiced like Vilba does, and then I moved on to the tricks. This one is called reverse back throws, and I got a pretty cool run of it, so enjoy it in slow-mo. Today, I worked a lot more on connecting the 360s into body throws, but even when you do it so well, you can still drop it, just like Vilba does sometimes. It's day number four, and up until this point, I've been practicing the 360s and the singles separately. But if I want to be a next level juggler like Vova Gauchenko, it's time that I try and put them together. Single spins are where you throw the club up with one rotation instead of two. And if you do the trick right, it looks like the clubs are just floating up out of your hand. This is the 360 into double spins, which is the normal way that people do it. All right, it's day number five, so make sure to go subscribe, push that button if you haven't already. On day number five, I noticed that I was able to run all of the tricks a lot longer, even hitting the three up 360 into the body throws. Now I'm going to test my luck again with the 360s connected into singles. I was close. So I kept going and then this happened. Okay, well, I'm here on day number six and I just walked in the gym turn right back around because there are way too many people in there. I mean, the place is full, there's an event going on. I'm gonna just juggle outside in the near 100 degree weather. 
100 degree weather. Today I made the trick I did yesterday even harder by connecting the body throws into back crosses. I started practicing the singles again and I got 30 catches of it. Now I think it's time to move on to day number 7 and see just how far that I've come throughout this journey. Wow, I cannot believe I just did that trick. Uh, I've always wanted to do it, especially after seeing how well Boba does it. So I guess I, there's no better way to end this video than that trick. So thank y'all guys for watching this video so much. I'm gonna go get some rest. So until next time, peace.